Merry Christmas. Good evening, everybody. I'm Dory Marlin. Greg is off tonight, so are Liz and Cody. Well, while many of you right now are busy preparing a Christmas dinner for your family, tonight many others met with their extended family at the Capital City Rescue Mission in Albany. Our Brandon Lewis was there when the first diners were fed. And Brandon, I know that a lot of these volunteers uh, do it year after year. It's a real labor of love. Yeah, Dory, it is. There are thousands of people who come through the doors to get a hot meal today, and they're often greeted by familiar faces, some of whom have served up smiles for decades. Thank you, there you go. You're welcome, sir. For the last 22 years, Kathleen Kiernan has volunteered along with dozens of others at the Capital City Rescue Mission, serving meals and smiles on Christmas Day. We've licked envelopes, we've cut pies, we've served meals. Uh, we One year, we actually, my husband and I sang in a uh, worship set before a chapel service. I don't think they asked us to do that a second time, but we were certainly willing to do whatever is needed. Next door to the dining room, Kathleen's husband, Richard, works side by side with their son, Dan, who grew up at the mission serving meals on Christmas. When I was younger, I mean, it would be like little things like picking up uh, like on the tables or like handing out meals at dinner. And then, you know, gradually it shifted to, um, you know, either welcoming people or, uh, you know, uh, being more uh, busy behind the kitchen or working like in a takeout setting or something like that and handing out people uh, meals. It adds to it. You know, because uh, like my wife said before, there's always somebody who's richer and poorer than you are, and they need something, or the, you know, it's just a joy to help out. And it's that spreading of joy that keeps families coming back each year. It's just exciting to be able to spread that love and, and, and just encourage others to love and share whatever you have. The mission expects to serve 3,000 people on Christmas with the help of dozens of volunteers, a coordinated ballet of service organized by Janet Tool. It's an area of service and I like to give at Christmas time and this one way of giving. It's nearly the same for everyone working the line at the mission like the Kiernan family making a holiday tradition of service. We're very very blessed and fortunate and um, we just feel it's part of our family value to reach out to others. We have something to give and we'd like to do that. The mission says today it served about 700 pounds of yam and another 800 pounds of ham to complete its Christmas dinner. Live in studio, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.